Hi, welcome to Encouragement for Today. I'm Pastor Emily. Today, I didn't feel like I could be very encouraging. And then I remembered that, wait, our encourager is God. So I stopped and spent some of my own time in prayer and meditation, reading scripture, and just paid attention to what happened inside of my soul. The back of my Bible had an idea for a daily devotion. It suggested that you take one Psalm. So Psalms is a book in the Bible that's full of prayers that humans wrote to God. Some of them are full of praise and beauty, and some of them are raw, honest emotion where people are praying for God to destroy their enemies. So it's they don't necessarily reflect the way that God feels towards other people. They are more about the human expression of honesty before God. I was personally drawn towards Psalm 77 for today. So it, the suggestion in my Bible was to read through the Psalm completely and just take in what it says. And then the second time to read through it and highlight the parts of the Psalm that spoke to me personally today. And then to go back and turn the words that were highlighted into personal prayers from me to God. So Psalm 77 is pretty long. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read the verses that I highlighted today. I was thinking as I did this more about yesterday than today, because yesterday was just not my favorite day. It, it was not a good day for me. And I, I noticed some things that came out in this psalm that also came out in my prayers yesterday. The verses I highlight, highlighted read, I cried out to God for help. I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I thought about the former days. My heart meditated and my spirit asked, has God forgotten to be merciful? Then I thought, to this I will appeal. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Your ways, God, are holy. You are the God who performs miracles. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. What I love about this psalm is that it starts out with basically, God, I cried to you. I prayed. It didn't help. <laughs> Not, it wasn't working for me, God. But then the psalm writer moves into, but I'm going to choose to remember how God has been present for me in the past. And I'm going to trust that that will carry me forward into the future. I don't know about you, but when I'm in the middle of a bad day, sometimes it feels like that bad day is never going to end. So this psalm is acknowledging that. And then the writer shifts and says, but no, I'm going to remember the ways that you've been there throughout my whole life. So yesterday I noticed that as I was feeling like things were never going to change, I remembered, wait, this is just one bad day. And think of all the things God has done lately that are amazing. Think of all the things God has done over previous years that are amazing. And hold on to that, trusting that this is just one bad day that's going to roll on by. <laughs> so I, it was helpful for me to go through this psalm and to turn it into a prayer before God. I encourage you, if you're looking for a way to spend some time with God, open up the Psalms and choose one that speaks to you. Read through it and then highlight the verses that especially catch your attention and turn those into prayer with God. Notice how God shows up in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind and, and works on you through that time. Let us pray. God, I thank you that when we stop and slow down and breathe and meditate on your word, that you come to life in our souls. 
God, I pray that you would be present to and tend each person who's listening. Help them find quiet time to notice the stirring of your spirit and your care that is with them. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you soon.